Hey, welcome to Rocket Reflections. My name is Jeremy. I am a Smashing Pumpkins fanatic, and we are in a prolific period for the pumpkins. Uh, Billy is just putting out a ton of content, so I figured what better time than now to finally get around to making my Smashing Pumpkins channel. So all things Smashing Pumpkins, be sure to subscribe if you want to see all the unboxings of all the albums. I've got everything. Um, a lot of cool stuff and then going through all the music and just having a good time enjoying the pumpkins together. So today we're going to open up the deluxe box set of the brand new album, Autumn. Now this isn't the uh, autographed package. There were two offerings from Madame Zuzu's and I ordered this on day one, right? As soon as they made the announcements. So let's go ahead and start and just jump right into it. Um, again, I ordered it from Madame Zuzu's as soon as it announced. There was, I think this was like, I don't know, 300 bucks. And then the autographed version was 500. Now the autographed version um, also had different color actual record albums. Uh, so that was really the only difference. So basically you're paying for the autographs. And I'm not really a big autograph person, so I didn't care that much about that. But I did have to have any album that the Smash Pumpkins put out, I've got to have it. So let's go ahead, open this guy up. All right, what do we have here? Maybe it's this way. All right, we'll get it situated here. Okay. So I hadn't heard it, obviously. I knew by following Billy on Instagram and everything that uh, there was, you know, it was, they were tracking it and they were doing the drums and then he was doing vocals. So I knew it was on the way. And then as soon as they announced, I had to get it. So they went with a space theme this time. And um, so we have this little kind of mylar like they do for the, um, you know, the food, the space food and that sort of thing. So I love this kind of the brand new logo. Now this is a, supposed to be a sequel of Melancholy and then Machina and then this. Um, so if you follow the kind of the themes, this is supposed to be kind of part three of those three albums. So loosely, I believe. So this is Autumn, a rock opera in three, three acts. So let's go ahead and just open this up here and see what we got. I'm not gonna get into it. I'll do another video as far as like reviewing it, but. I'm one of those fans who kind of can f see the, the good in, in everything. And uh, well, there we go. I have number 964. So what they did was it's limited to 1333 of the non-autograph version and then 1333 of the autograph version. So I have number 964 here. Beautiful box. Oh, there we go. So yeah, I love the kind of the design and artwork of this. We have a little pull tab here. All right, what do we have here? Folds open, got some artwork. We got Billy, Jeff. We got some kind of uh, space themes here, kind of like old drawings, line drawings, blueprint drawings. And then Jimmy and James. And then it looks like inside each one, not in here, but inside each here, we have stuff to pull out. So let's see what we got here. All right, so this is act one. Pull it out of the sleeve. And these should just be black. So you had to get the autograph version to get the colored version. Now, besides this deluxe box set, the obvious, obviously you can order the uh, records. Um, from Amazon or wherever. And then there was, I believe uh, there is one special edition that had some different kind of inserts, um, like a record day store or something like that, but I don't have that. All right, and then we have act three. So act one and two is on one disc, and then I believe it's act three. And then actually the autumn story, I forget who reads this, but uh, the audio story that is the companion to that is on that side. So very cool. Went on the back, act one, two, three, all 33 songs. And then the uh, disc four has the story. Um, and I believe it's only the story of act one, I guess. 
but there we go. What else do we have here? We have the booklet. All right, kind of goes through the outline. Uh, the cast, Shiny, June, Osira, Nighthawk, the kind of the whole crew there, as he talked about. So I listened to the podcast, the 33 podcast, where he went through every single song uh, piece by piece. So that was a lot of fun going through it. And then he had covered an old song as well. So um, if you're a fan, definitely it's a, it's a podcast worth listening to. Yeah, and then we kind of have the kind of credits, you know, who's singing, all the backgrounds, all that kind of stuff like that, the engineers. And then uh, here we have the a breakdown, like a little synopsis of each song. Um, you know, Steps in Time, performed by June, to those images of Shiny, blah, blah, blah. So this will definitely be fun to read as we go through the music. And then there should be lyrics, yeah. So the, And then the rest is just kind of the lyrics. Very nice. So very cool. So we both get a synopsis of kind of the breakdown of the opera, right? After all, it is a rock opera of each of the songs. And then we get um, the actual lyrics. So love that. And then last, as a bonus, and this is what <clears throat> is part of the deluxe set, are you get, <laughs> this is really interesting and hard to explain. So these are seven inch singles. They're in mono and I think it's somewhere on here. Maybe if we pull them out, like this is Scimitar and on one side and Magdalena on the other. And if you'll notice right here, they say Zach. And that's because these are part of a future album that has yet to be released called Zodion at Crystal Hall. So from what Billy said is this is a future album. And so we have 10 songs here, Scimitar, Magdalena, Saffron, and Zope, Huza, Automation, Automaton, Mary Q, and Burr, Excelsior, and Necromance. And so basically six of these are on the future album Zodionic Crystal Hall, and four of these are B-sides for that future album, which the future album, I guess, is like a 10-track album. So we get six of these in advance. They're in mono. The future album will have will be in, will have both versions. He says it'll, it'll be in stereo and it'll just be a, you know a normal album, of 10 songs. But you know this, however many 2,600, 2,700 of us get these early, so we get six of the tracks early on these mono uh, <laughs> little records, which is it's interesting, right? But um, you know if you if you're a Smashing Pumpkins fans, everything is. Uh, is out of the ordinary and um at first it gets a little taking <laughs> a little getting used to but um it is actually one of the things i've grown to love about billy and how he does things it's just it's just a little chaotic but it's a little fun and you know what's fun is try to explain this to people of how he releases things and uh um so yeah there you go so this is the album i am really enjoying it i'm listening to it digitally i actually don't even have a record player so for those singles, either someone's gonna to have to leak them or actually I'm gonna to have to buy a record player, which is probably what I'm gonna do and then convert those over to digital. So that is the deluxe box set and I am loving the music. And uh, on my next video, I will go ahead and open, I bought the CD version, so this will be a lot easier for me to rip and uh, have the songs digitally because you can't really trust Spotify and I, I guess from what I understand, they degrade it a little bit or compress it. So I'm looking forward to ripping Autumn. So I have it on my phone. And um, yeah, and then I just got to figure out a way to rip those, uh, those tracks that are off the upcoming future album, The Sodian at Crystal Hall. So looking forward to that. So in my next video, we'll go ahead and unbox the CD version. So again, if you're uh, interested in Smashing Pumpkins, unboxing a lot of stuff, going through the music, then definitely subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.